Two Chinese coronavirus medicines will be tested this year. Following recent outbreaks of the highly transmissible Omicron form in China, the Global Health Drug Discovery Institute GHDDI, in Beijing plans to begin clinical trials for two potential COVID-19 medicines later this year. Ding Sheng, head of the GHDDI and dean of Tsinghua University's School of Pharmaceutical Sciences, told the Beijing-based Global Times that his research team was rushing to manufacture and submit GDI-4405. He said they want to apply in China and the US in the second part of the year. Then the clinical studies, he said. Pfizer's Paxlovid medication, which has been provisionally licensed for sale in China, targets the same coronavirus protease as GDI-4405. Virus replication is enabled by the protease 3 CL. It's a good antiviral medication target. In 2020, Ding's team created and designated GDI-3549, a chemical molecule discovered in Paxlovid. However, GDI-4405, a potential medication, has shown to be more powerful in stopping viral replication. COVID-19 is a promising medication with high bioavailability and safety profile. As of yet, the targeted protease has not shown any changes that may compromise the drug's efficacy, according to Ding. The second medication is an inhaled broad-spectrum antiviral small molecule. If GDI-4405 inhibits the protease, it activates human cells to produce efficient immunity proteins to attack the coronavirus, Ding claims. The second medicine would boost upper respiratory immunity and prevent serious adverse effects like cytokine storm. Many experts predict inhaling will be employed in the future. The current COVID-19 vaccinations may lower fatalities and severity, but not infections. An inhaled vaccine, on the other hand, could make protective antibodies in that tract and keep it from getting infected, experts say in the Global Times. As a result of Omicron outbreaks, cities like Shanghai and Shenzhen have shut down neighborhoods and halted public transit infecting huge numbers of individuals quickly might overwhelm the country's healthcare system, according to Ding. Expert Zhang Wenhong of Shanghai said China must relax its anti-outbreak tactics or catastrophic harm would result. Ding said better vaccinations and treatments should be available before lifting lockdown. China has so far licensed seven COVID-19 vaccinations. Vaccine makers like Sinopharm and Sinovac have increased their R&D activities.